Okay, for the second stage of um, the bumper sticker or sticker program for the PBL, I'm going to show you how to use Artboard so that we can try out some different things and modify our logo to try and come up with the best version. So what we're going to do is I've got my logo here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to go down the right here and we've got Artboards on the bottom right hand side of the toolbar. I'm going to click that one. And I want to click this button here, it looks like a piece of paper with the edge of it folded over. I'm going to click on that a couple of times. And what that's going to do is start to create these artboards where I can make changes. So I'm going to do a big box, big box around all my parts. I'm going to go Control C, then Control V. I'm going to drag that so it's in line, get it nice and centered. Like such, and then on this one, I'm going to start to play around with some different, some different ideas. I might, I might change the proportion of some things. I might, for example, want to have this fish hook over here. I might make this shark smaller in the middle. I might grab this fish hook, go Control C, Control V, make a second copy of it. I might even flip it around, go right click, arrange. Transform, I should say, and reflect. Okay. And I might make it so I've got a fish hook on each side. Like so. Get a bit of symmetry happening. Move that to the middle a bit more. Put my shark in the middle. And here I've got just, I'm just making these small tweaks, making digital developing to try and end up with the best possible version of this logo that I can. So I'm going to copy it again. Control C, Control V. Put that one in the middle. And this time I might explore some different colors. So I might, I might want to try a dark blue, like one of the colors we've got available here. So I've selected everything. Down here on the fill, I want to click on, double click on that one and I can change the colour. So I might go a nice dark blue like that. Sorry, I'm going to select everything in the middle. Middle, middle, middle. I want to change that to a nice dark blue. Change for There we go. So I can start changing the colors. Remember, everything has to be one color. So I can change that one as well. Everything has to be the same color. And I might even want to experiment or start experimenting with some different backgrounds. So I can actually get the box tool like this. Draw a box. For the backgrounds, down here, hit my arrow stick again, double click on that, and I can maybe, I could go for a light blue background, kind of like the colour that we've got. Hit OK. It's obviously in front of everything, so I'm going back to my black arrow. I can click on that one, I can go right arrow, I can go arrange, and I can go centre back. And that's giving me a different idea of what my logo might look like with the different colour combinations, and I can change these ones to the blue as well. No, I don't want to change. I can't believe look at that afterwards. So that's what I want you to do. Use your artboard, make some changes, try and improve your logo and develop it, and then you can also try and play around with some of those different colours. Thank you.